Hi there, welcome back to another review. Uh, this time I'm having a look at a third party piece. So this is from Mastermind Creations and this is from their reformatted line. It's R33 Colossus Brave and uh, this is their... Um, oh god, I've forgotten his name now. He's gone straight out of my, straight out of my head. Uh, Thunder Clash, I think that's, that's, the, that's the one. Um, who... You know, I didn't really know much about it really until I read sort of some of the IDW stuff. So it's kind of based off that character. Again, the normal stuff that you expect from them in terms of box art and everything else like that. This kind of having more of a embossed feel to it. Um, very nice uh, pictures on the side there, and then on the back you've got pictures of him in his uh, robot and vehicle mode, which is all good and showing you is a. Uh, has weapons clip on and and so on and yeah just checking I do have his his weapons showing correctly or not yeah I think that's right um yeah and another picture on the back there that's about it and then you get with it this uh, nice collector's card so they're like credit card sort of things and on the back here He's got some very impressive tech specs. He's pretty much 10 for everything apart from endurance and skill. Which is cool. Uh, you get your comic stroke instruction book with it. Uh, so this is issue 33, A Colossal Mess from Reformatted. And story is by Hector Sigma and Marty Prime. And open it up here. Shame about this page being blank. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool story actually. It features a few other figures uh, like Brawn, uh, Countdown. Um, who else have we got in here? Uh, Kickoff, is it? The Action Master one. And who else have we got in here? One of the MicroMaster guys. Get what his name is. One of the um, ones from the military patrol set as well. I think Guzzle's in it, and then Bulkhead just at the end. So you're not quite sure at the end. It it sort of uh, hints towards the next adventure. So I'm not sure if that continues on with a story about Bulkhead because they kind of at the end they kind of arrive on this planet where Bulkhead is. Um, if you turn it around the other way. Um, you kind of go in through this way and you get all your instructions. So you get your Col uh, Colossus figure, obviously with the manual and everything else. His um, all his cannons and arm plates, which it talks about. Shows you the transformation. Um, and where to put his guns and whatnot. Um, so yeah, and then you get some kind of concept art and bits and pieces like that. So that's all very good. Um, because I ordered it through Plant Steel, you often get like a kind of extra piece. So this is this um, gun that comes with it. So I think that's only if you pre-order it through Planet Steel Express, you get that, which is uh, pretty nifty. Uh, I'll bring him in in his vehicle mode so you can take a look at him. That's how he comes packaged in his vehicle mode. Okay. So there he is in his vehicle mode. Uh, it's a bit hard to roll on, on this surface, but it does does roll all right. You get four wheels, all painted silver. Uh, there's quite a lot of paint on this guy. Um, I think this green plastic with this these kind of off-white bits painted in here. Um, nice paint across here as well. Um, this bit's painted. You get paint in here, silver in here. Paint on these as well on the side, and these uh, blue on the side here. Obviously, all the silver paint on here. Um, I've just transformed it back, so these bits do tend to want to pop out uh, these ones. But apart from that, it seems to hold together pretty well. And you can take these off should you wish to, and they just peg onto in here like that. Like so. And then if I bring in, I'll show you alongside um, the Combiner Wars. Um, one which was one that you get a sticker set for to turn the I think it's the I can't remember what is it, is it Battle Prime or 
something battle armor prime or something like that into this one so you can see it's quite a bit bigger than a voyager kind of bordering on kind of leader scale i would say um certainly in vehicle mode anyway it's about the same length width what um lengthwise that is locked chunkier widthwise. So I'll just put that to one side for the moment. So pretty cool, almost like Cybertronian looking vehicle mode. Uh, very similar to the design that we see on in the IDW comics. Get them transformed, take these bits off. Pop those to the side. Um, these bits here kind of lift up. So they're kind of tabbed in there. So you might take these bits out like so. His legs are tucked up alongside here. So you want to take this out. You can then peg these from here like that as well. These bits come off. So these are parts of his shield. So there's a bit of parts forming in it. Um, so there's no get away from having to take those bits off. You do have to take those bits off. Come around here, unfold the legs out like so, and straighten them out. It's a very well bit, built figure this one. Um, I haven't got the is it Tarn one, so I'm not sure how much of this engineering is from this guy. I'm not really sure, but they straighten out his feet. Uh, these bits here come down, so you kind of push it down and then Put that to the side so again just unpeg it from there push it down it comes around to the back here like that um i will straighten up the camera a second just to so you can take a look at this side here the arms unpeg from the side here you kind of straighten them out like so like so uh, they're going to come forward and down is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, so it also pegs at the top here. So it comes down there. Like that. Straighten it around. So it'll come forward like that. This piece then is gonna unpeg from here. It's gonna sort of unpeg from here as well. This bit here. Oh, just pop that bit off. Like that. So it comes forward there. They sort of peg into there. I can't work out a better way of, of kind of taking that out. But it comes forward there. I'll just grab the piece that's just flipped off there. And just peg that into there. And that's going to come forward and that bit's going to plug into there. And at the same time this bit opens up at the back and then you can kind of push the head out. Pull them out like that. So then make sure that pegs in there like so. That's in there. Straighten out his arms. And then the front of him's pretty much done. Uh, it's then case of just tidying at the back. So plug that into there, like so. And then round the back here, um, there's a few bits that you need to do. These bits unplug, uh, and these are gonna plug into the back just in here in a minute. So I'm just going to pop them to one side here as well, like that. And then I'll just need to refer to the instructions just to show you how this all folds up together. It does take a, a little bit of just looking at how it's all done. Um, right, 
so from the instructions um, these wheels are going to come around and they're going to sort of come around up here so they peg off here like that um, I think these bits fold in like that and like that and then this bit's going to come around here like that and then it's going to rotate around and then peg down into that space. Ah no, just wants to go around the other way. So be careful of these because these are quite tight. Let's bring it up like that. They show them kind of coming in at an angle so it's up to you kind of really how you want to do that. Um, so that's really probably the only sort of not ugly part of the transformation but the only part that doesn't probably clean up quite as well. And then you can see where that plugs in there that'll peg into there like so and you see it does have a bit of a kind of ab crunch, crunch there going forward which is kind of part of the transformation kind of not so so you can you can lean right forward if you want them to and then this bit's just supposed to kind of go back like that and I think that's pretty much him done and then oh yeah pop these bits on around the back here and you just peg in like that. Let's show you. So it could be a bit of a tighter connection for these, but that's a bit better. Like that. And those, these bits here kind of hold that into place like that. So you've kind of got them like that. And then with these bits they kind of clip onto his arm so that's his right one so best way to do it I find is to get these bits and you peg them onto the side like that like that so they actually plugged into the shield and you get a hold of these bits and then you peg them actually onto these bit here himself okay it should be like that I think what I can see anyway that looks like the right way to do it and then same on the other one like that ah no I'm looking at it this way around aren't I it's actually round that's his right hand isn't it so I'm looking at it this way around is in the way that I'm viewing it. So let's plug that into that side. Like that. Does that fit better around his arm? No, it doesn't actually appear to fit any better around there. Ah. Right, so let's get this right a second time. So I think it's supposed to have this open piece here and then you're supposed to plug it into that. No, that doesn't make sense. Do you know what? I think I had it right the first time actually. No, yeah, I did. It was right the first time you have it round like that and then in like that. Like that. So there you got him. I think he's very impressive actually. Um, which is kind of the reason why I'm selling the the other sort of Thunder Clash one because I think this one's gonna take his place. Um, I will transform the other guy just so you can see them side by side. But um, I, you know, I love the colours on this. This is all painted in here. There's loads of different colours and paint schemes going on. And where there isn't paint, they've used different colours plastics to kind of mix it up. Uh, I think it looks absolutely great. Uh, the head sculpt on him is fantastic. There's paint in here, yellow and red in and around the face. Uh, the guns clip on well on the side and the ones at the back there look alright. The only really criti real criticism I would say was about the backpack. But actually, it does tidy up alright. Um, 
you know, it doesn't look amazing or anything, but uh, I think they've done a, a decent job there. The transformation is is nice. It's fairly simple. Um, you know, nothing too complex, but kind of the right amount of stuff where you, you kind of have to sort of be slightly involved in it. Um, probably first couple of times you might have to refer to the instructions, but after that you should be okay as long as you're getting into robot modes probably easier than doing it the other way around. Um, I've just got the, the Voyager one here which has got um, custom um, I'm trying to remember who the head was from but uh, it's a kind of a custom piece so you can see him alongside him and uh, yeah he's a bit bit taller a bit of a better build I really do like this guy um, I think he looks excellent I'll just go through the articulation while I just show you off the 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 hand here has got one little finger here which bends just forward and back and then the other three fingers there the thumb is uh, one piece here it doesn't move and then you just slot in the gun like that and then fit the the um his handle is the gun around his, there and uh some good articulation ahead it can actually go all the way down all the way up and all the way over as well um and you can get it to the side slightly as well the arms will rotate all the way around um you can go out like that for a butterfly joint you can rotate it here uh, you've got like almost like a double jointed thing you can go up here this bit also rotates forward as well um, yeah the fists rotate around here as well you get waist articulation all the way around that ab crunch that I mentioned here as well goes right the way forward like that uh, legs they on a ratchet so up to back there it's not quite the full range forward back kind of hindered by the backpack there but it does go mostly all the way back and out to side mostly not quite um, but enough swivel right at the top there which is friction um, legs fairly deep bend in the knee there uh, um, is it a double jointed one no it isn't it's just down to there but you've not got nice silver paint here and here uh, this piece here can go forward and back here as well. The foot can move all the way that way, all the way that way, so quite. And then you get the foot, which bend the toe that bends forward here as well. It does go in and out as well for like a rocket motion here as well. Um, so I would say articulation on them is just about perfect. Um, Yeah, I think if you're after Thunder Clash, there aren't many options, but um, you know, if there was loads of competition, I think this one would be the one to get. Um, if you're on the fence about getting it, getting it, uh, get off that fence and get it. It's absolutely brilliant. Definitely a recommend for me. Well worth picking up. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you all soon. Bye bye for now.